Hello mga ka-JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about solving quadratic equations by factoring. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to solve quadratic equations by factoring in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 with a leading coefficient of 1 and other than 1 and solve quadratic equations by factoring in the form ax square plus bx equals 0. To be updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Just press that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. If you find this video helpful, kindly press that like button. If you have questions about the lesson, you can post your questions on the comment box below. Let's begin. Let's define first what are factors. Factors are numbers that are multiplied to get another number. Example, 2 times 3 equals 6. Ang 2 at 3 dito ay tinatawag nating factors. Next, define naman natin ang leading coefficients. Leading coefficients are the numbers written in front of the variable with the largest exponent. Example, 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals 0. Ang term na 3x squared ang merong pinakamataas na exponent. So, 3 is the leading coefficient. Some quadratic equations can be solved easily by factoring. To solve such quadratic equations, the following procedures can be followed. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation into standard form if necessary. Step 2. Factor the quadratic expression. Step 3. Apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to zero. Zero product property. If the product of two real numbers is 0, then either of the two is equal to 0, or both numbers are equal to 0. Simply, separate lang natin yung mga nakuha nating factors at equate sa 0. Step 4. Solve each resulting equation. Example number 1. Find the solutions of x squared plus 9x equals negative 8 by factoring. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation into standard form. Transpose negative 8 to left side of the equation. We get x squared plus 9x plus 8 equals 0. Step 2. Factor the quadratic expression. Trinomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 can often be factored as the product of two binomials. So, gagawa tayo ng dalawang parenthesis kung saan natin ilalagay ang dalawang binomial na factors. Then, identify natin kung ano ang leading coefficient ng given quadratic equation. Sa example natin, ang term na x squared ang may pinakamataas na exponent. So, 1 is the leading coefficient. Tandaan kapag wala kayong nakikitang coefficient or number sa unahan ng variable, ang coefficient nito ay invisible 1. Kapag ang leading coefficient ng isang quadratic equation ay 1, meron tayong specific na mga steps na ipapalo. Given the quadratic equation, kukunin muna natin ang mga factors ng constant term na positive 8. Ang mga factors ng 8 ay 2 and 4, negative 2 and negative 4, negative 1 and negative 8, at 1 and 8. Then add each factors. Then titignan natin kung aling factors ang makakakuha ng sum na equal sa coefficient ng linear term or ang makakakuha ng sum na 9. 2 plus 4 is 6, negative 2 plus negative 4 
is negative 6. Negative 1 plus negative 8 is negative 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. Since ang mga factors na 1 and 8 ang nakakuha ng sum na 9, then ito na ang mga factors na ilalagay natin sa last term na magiging dalawang binomial factors. Para naman sa mga first term ng dalawang binomial factors, kukunin natin ang mga factors ng quadratic term na x squared. So we have x times x. So ilalagay natin itong mga factors na x sa first term ng dalawang binomial factors. Ang tawag sa proseso na ginawa natin ay unfoiling. Kumbaga, kabaligtaran ng foil method. So, meron tayong two binomial factors na x plus 1 at x plus 8. Step 3. Apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to 0. We get x plus 1 equals 0 and x plus 8 equals 0. Step 4. Solve each resulting equation. Unahin natin ang x plus 1 equals 0. Transpose 1 to the right side of the equation, we get x equals negative 1. Next, x plus 8 equals 0. Transpose 8 to the right side of the equation, we get x equals negative 8. So, negative 1 and negative 8 will be our solutions or roots. Example number 2. Find the solutions of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0 by factoring. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation into standard form. Since naka-standard form na ang given quadratic equation, i -re rewrite lang natin ito. Step 2, factor the quadratic expression. So, gagawa tayo ulit ng parenthesis para sa dalawang binomial factors. Then, identify natin ang leading coefficient. Sa quadratic equation na given, 2 is the leading coefficient. Sa ganitong example na kung saan ang leading coefficient ay hindi 1, gagamit tayo ng method na tinatawag na trial and error. Unlike sa example number 1, madali lang ang pag-factor kasi kukunin mo lang ang mga factors ng constant term na magbibigay ng sum na equal sa coefficient ng linear term. Dito sa example number 2, kailangan natin itest lahat ng combination ng mga factors hanggang sa makuha natin ang original quadratic equation. So, kunin natin lahat ng possible factors ng constant term na negative 3. We have negative 1 times 3 and 1 times negative 3. Next, kunin naman natin lahat ng possible factors ng quadratic term na 2x squared. So, we have 2x times x and negative 2x times negative x. Try muna natin kunin ang combination ng mga factors na 2x at x and negative 1 at 3. Ngayon, perform natin ang FOIL method. Kapag ang nakuha nating answer ay katulad ng original equation na 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0, then ang mga factors na 2x minus 1 at x plus 3 ang magiging binomial factors. Kapag hindi naman katulad ng original equation, then magta-try ulit tayo ng ibang combination ng mga factors hanggang sa makuha natin ang original quadratic equation. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Equals 0. Combine similar terms, 6x and negative x, we have 5x. Since positive 5x ang sign ng nakuha nating equation, at negative naman ang sa original equation. Then, ang mga factors na 2x minus 1 at x plus 3 
ay hindi ang mga factors na hinahanap natin. So, magta-try ulit tayo ng bagong combination. Try naman natin ang combination ng mga factors na 2x at x and 1 at neg negative 3. Perform fall method, 2x times x is 2x square. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Equals 0. Combine similar terms, negative 6x and x, we have negative 5x. So ang nakuha nating equation ay katulad ng original equation. Then, ang mga factors na 2x plus 1 at x minus 3 ang magiging binomial factors natin. Step 3, apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to 0. We get 2x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Step 4, Solve each resulting equation. Unahin natin ang 2x plus 1 equals 0. Transpose 1 to the right side of the equation. We get 2x equals negative 1. To isolate x, divide both sides of the equation by 2. We get negative 1 over 2. Next, x minus 3 equals 0. Transpose negative 3 to the right side of the equation. We get x equals 3. So, negative 1 half and 3 will be our solutions or roots. Example number 3. Find the solutions of 3x squared plus 12x equals 0 by factoring. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation into standard form. Since naka standard form na ang given quadratic equation, i -re rewrite lang natin ito. Step 2. Factor the quadratic expression. Sa ganitong form ng quadratic equation na ax square plus bx equals 0, na kung saan wala tayong constant term, gagamit tayo ng factoring method na tinatawag na common monomial factoring. So, kukuha tayo ng common monomial factors sa mga terms. Gagawa ulit tayo ng mga parenthesis para sa mga factors. Ang unang parenthesis ay para sa monomial factor at ang pangalawang parenthesis ay para sa binomial na factor. Given ang original equation, kukunin natin ang GCF ng mga terms na 3x square at 12x. Unahin muna natin ang mga numerical coefficients na 3 at 12. Ang mga factors ng 3 ay 1 at 3. Ang mga factors naman ng 12 ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Kukunin natin ngayon ang GCF. Kunin natin ang pinakamataas na magkaparehong factors. Ang GCF natin dito ay 3. Iligay natin itong GC GCF na 3 doon sa parenthesis na pang monomial factor. Next, kunin naman natin ang GCF ng mga literal coefficients na x square at x. Ang kukunin natin ay yung literal coefficient na may pinakamababang exponent. So, ang x ang kukunin natin. Iligay natin ang x sa parenthesis na pang monomial factor. Meron tayo ngayong common monomial factor na 3x. Para naman makuha ang isang factor na binomial, i-divide lang natin ang original equation sa nakuha nating GCF na 3x. 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Iligay natin sa pangalawang parenthesis. Next, 12x divided by 3x is 4. Ilagay din natin sa pangalawang parenthesis. So, meron tayong mga factors na 3x at x plus 4. 
Step 3. Apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the expression equal to zero. We get 3x equals zero and x plus 4 equals zero. Step 4. Solve each resulting equation. Unahin natin ang 3x equals zero. To isolate x, divide both sides of the equation by 3. We get x equals zero. Next, x plus 4 equals 0. Transpose 4 to the right side of the equation. We get x equals negative 4. So, 0 and negative 4 will be our solutions or roots. Sa ganitong form ng quadratic equation, pwede tayong gumamit ng shortcut method. The roots of quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx equals 0 are x equals 0 and x equals negative b over a. Tandaan na kapag nasa form na ax squared plus bx equals 0 ang isang quadratic equation, ang isang root natin ay laging equal sa 0. At ang isang root naman ay makukuha natin sa formula na negative b over a. So, kailangan natin kunin ang mga values ng a at b. Try natin siya sa quadratic equation na sinold natin kanina. 3x squared plus 12x equals 0. Ang isang root ay laging equal sa 0. I-substitute naman natin ang mga values ng a at b sa formula na negative b over a. b is 12 and a is 3. Huwag kalimutan ilagay ang parenthesis sa b. Simplify. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So, parehas lang ang nakuha nating solutions or roots doon sa unang method na ginawa natin. Try naman natin kunin ang mga roots ng 5x squared minus 25x equals 0. Ang equation ay nasa form na ax squared plus bx equals 0. Ang isang root natin ay laging equal sa 0. Substitute naman natin ang mga values ng A at B sa formula na negative B over A. B is negative 25 and A is 5. Huwag kalimutan ilagay ang parenthesis sa B. Simplify, negative times negative 25 is positive 25. Divide by 5, the answer is 5. So, ang mga solutions natin ay 0 at 5. Example number 4. Find the solutions of 9x squared minus 4 equals 0 by factoring. Step 1. Transform the quadratic equation into standard form. Since naka-standard form na ang given quadratic equation, i-rewrite lang natin ito. Step 2. Factor the quadratic expression. Sa example, Makikita natin na ito ay difference of two squares. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng mga special products and factoring techniques na pinag-aralan nyo nung grade 8. Meron tayong iba-ibang techniques sa pagpa-factor. Pwede natin i-rewrite ang equation as quantity 3x square minus quantity 2 square equals 0. Madali lang kunin ang mga factors ng ganitong example ng quadratic equation gamit ang special products and factoring techniques. Since under ito sa difference of two squares, kukunin lang natin ang mga expression na naka-square which is 3x and 2. And ang magiging operations ng dalawang factors ay addition and subtraction. So, ang mga factors natin ay 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. Step 3. Apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to zero. We get 3x plus 2 equals zero and 3x minus 2 equals zero. Step 4. Solve each resulting equation. Unahin natin ang 3x plus 2 equals 0. Transpose 2 to the right side of the equation. 
we get 3x equals negative 2. To isolate x, divide both sides of the equation by 3. So, we get x equals negative 2 over 3. Next, 3x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose negative 2 to the right side of the equation. We get 3x equals 2. To isolate x, divide both sides of the equation by 3. So, we get x equals 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 will be our solutions or roots. For your activity, find the solutions of the following quadratic equations by factoring. Number 1, x squared minus 7x equals negative 12. Number 2, 3x squared plus 7x equals negative 2. Number 3, 4x squared plus 16x equals 0. And number 4, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Pwede nyong i-comment sa comment box ang inyong mga sagot. That's all for now. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video lesson na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe para updated kayo lagi sa mga i-upload kong mga video lessons. Paalam!